As climate change continues to become ever more real, Robinson Brothers is challenging the perceptions around chemical companies and the environment with its environmental and sustainability efforts in reducing emissions and waste. We went to their headquarters in West Bromwich to investigate. It's another busy day at Robinson Brothers. They're makers of fine chemicals for a wide range of industries right across the globe. It's a precision job and excellence is essential. But added to that, they pride themselves on an extra ingredient, sustainability. It's very important to Robinson Brothers to be net zero by 2050 because we want to be in existence in 2050. We are simply custodians of the planet and in the same way custodians of the planet, we are custodians of this company. A big part of achieving that lies in how they produce chemicals. One of the biggest products we make in this plan is, used, uh, is produced using a solvent. Um, now this solvent, we can reuse and recycle it, and we do that by a process called distillation. This distillation process allows us to put used solvent back into a reactor where we are able to remove impurities and regain pure solvent, which is then put into future batches over and over again. And they're looking to improve that process even more. We are working towards completely eliminating solvent from this process. So with our R&D team, we've discussed running it on an aqueous route, which means running it using water rather than solvent. Hi Joe, how's the distillation going? That exciting step forward is down to Dr James Burford, but he's also looking to the future. Well, I think in the next five or ten years we'll be looking at artificial intelligence and this will help us to analyse the data of our processes more thoroughly and then we can transfer that data into production to gain further efficiencies and smart connected devices will allow us to monitor the energy use from that process in maybe in an ideal world that can be connected to our incinerator to divert energy to that process when required. To achieve net zero every department is doing their bit. With regards to engineering we have to look at the whole picture uh, so we look at preventative maintenance, breakdown maintenance and new installations and all of those things deal with energy so we're either looking at making sure we don't lose energy with things like air leak surveys or steam trap surveys or we look at new equipment. That new equipment comes at a cost. Its latest liquid nitrogen installation cost £200,000. Our old system used to involve uh, around two to three tanker deliveries of nitrogen every week. Now we've installed the new nitrogen system and we've only had two tanker deliveries in five months. So basically that's a 96% reduction from our supplier tanker delivery CO2. Carl now has his eye on a new piece of kit. We're actually looking now at a new combined heat and power plant uh, and that you know, could be a, a major, major investment for Robinson Brothers. Um, but again, it's, it's early days yet and, uh, and we're just sort of, um, we're in, in, the, uh, in the feasibility study sort of stage of the project at the moment. Robinson Brothers has existed here for more than 150 years. While it's proud to be the oldest family-run chemical firm in the UK, it's prouder still of its pioneering work to become cleaner and greener and its mission to become net zero by 2050. But getting there isn't easy. It's extremely expensive. We could do it tomorrow if we switched from burning gas as a fuel source for generating heat to just switch into electricity. But electricity is four times more expensive than gas. We would go out of business. Therefore, that option, although I'd like to do it, is not really viable at this point in time. Robinson Brothers may be a firm rooted in history but it's dedicated to leaving the next generation a bright and cleaner future. We want to hand over this company in much better condition from the way we picked it up so that the next generation can continue on, continue employing in this local area. That's really key critical to us and reducing our carbon footprint will go a long way to keeping us sustainable.